In Gender in the Politics of History, Joan Wallach Scott delves into the intricate relationship between gender and history, presenting a compelling argument for the necessity of a gendered analysis in historical research. She challenges the traditional narrative of history as a neutral and objective discipline, asserting that gender is a critical lens through which to understand power dynamics and historical processes. Scott begins by highlighting the inherent biases within historical research and writing, emphasizing that historical narratives often reflect and reinforce existing power structures. She argues that gender is a fundamental category of analysis that has been historically neglected, despite its profound impact on society and politics. By introducing the concept of gender as a useful category of historical analysis, Scott asserts that gender is not merely a side issue but a central factor in shaping historical events. To illustrate her argument, Scott examines various historical case studies, demonstrating how gender has played a pivotal role in shaping political and social structures. She discusses the French Revolution and the ways in which gender norms influenced the roles and expectations of men and women during this tumultuous period. By analyzing the discourse surrounding citizenship and rights, Scott reveals how gender became intertwined with ideas of political participation and exclusion. Moreover, Scott explores the relationship between gender and nationalism highlighting how nation-building often relied on traditional gender roles to define the boundaries of belonging and citizenship. She emphasizes that the exclusion of women from the political sphere was not incidental but a deliberate strategy to consolidate male power within the nation-state. Scott's argument extends beyond the historical realm, as she also addresses the contemporary implications of her analysis. She asserts that recognizing the gendered nature of history is essential for understanding and challenging existing power structures in the present. By acknowledging the biases within historical narratives, scholars can strive for a more inclusive and equitable approach to history. In addition to critiquing traditional historical narratives, Scott also engages with feminist theory and the ways in which it has contributed to our understanding of gender and history. She acknowledges the important role of feminism in bringing issues of gender to the forefront of academic discourse but also suggests that feminist theory has its limitations, particularly in terms of its focus on women's experiences to the exclusion of men's experiences. Scott's argument is grounded in the idea that gender is not a fixed or natural category but a socially constructed one. She emphasizes that gender norms and expectations have varied across time and place, and historical analysis must take these variations into account. By doing so, historians can uncover the complexities of gender relations and their impact on political and social structures. In conclusion, Joan Wallach Scott's Gender and the Politics of History offers a thought-provoking analysis of the intersection between gender and history. She argues that gender is a critical category of analysis that has been historically overlooked, and she demonstrates how it has shaped political and social structures throughout history. By challenging traditional historical narratives and advocating for a gendered approach to history, Scott encourages scholars to reevaluate the way they think about and study the past. Her work serves as a compelling reminder that history is not a neutral endeavor but one that is deeply entangled with questions of power, identity, and gender.